Hi guys! This is Mama Lu. Welcome back to my YouTube channel! So, yung una po nating lesson video ay uh, common monomial factoring. The next is factoring the difference of two squares. And the third video was about factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. Sana po yung mga nanunod sa ating mga estudyante, sinusundan po natin mula umpisa hanggang sa itong video na ito hanggang sa mga susunod pa. Kasi, you will never learn this video, you will never learn the topic in this video kung hindi mo nasundan yung mga sumusunod na lesson. Okay, so what do we have now? For our fourth video, we have factors of perfect square trinomial. So we're going to talk about trinomial this time. So, this only suggests that in factoring a perfect square trinomial, this results in a square of a binomial na kung saan yung first term dito sa ating factor ay square root lang ng first term dun sa ating trinomial. So, the square root of x squared is x. So, ayun po yung x. And then, the square root of y squared is y. At ayun po yung y. Now, the sign here is the sign of the second term. Now, what about if we have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared? So, ito po ay isang perfect square trinomial. So, therefore, ang factors niya po ay square of a binomial. Na kung saan yung first term ay square root lang ng first term natin dito. So, the square root of our first term here is x. So, you just put the x here. And then, the second term is just the square root of the last term here in the trinomial. So, the square root of y squared is y. So, we have here y. Now, the sign here should be the same with the sign of the second term in the trinomial. Now, ang tanong po natin, paano mo malalaman na ang isang given trinomial ay perfect square trinomial? How do you know that it is a perfect square trinomial? So, may mga katanungan tayong unang tignan. So, let us examine this one. x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Paano natin malalaman na itong trinomial na ito ay perfect square trinomial? So, let's look at the first term here. Let's look at the first term. So, the first term is x squared. No? Tanong natin, what is the square root of the first term? What is the square root of x squared? So, it must be x. Now, what about the last term here? We have y squared. What is the square root of y squared? So, it is y. Now, since meron ka ng square root nila, you multiply the square roots. What is x times y? x times y is xy. Pag ito bang xy na ito, yung product, no? The product of the square roots. Pag minultiply ba natin ng 2, is it equal to the middle term of the trinomial? So, x times y is xy times 2. So, that is 2xy. So, kapag yung tatlong tanong natin na yon ay nasatisfy, then the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. At ang factors niya ay napakasimple. Square root, x, then y, and then get the sign of the middle term. 
So, the sign is plus or positive. So, ayan. And just put a square. A square. Dun sa taas. Kasi nga, ang sabi natin, the factors of a perfect square trinomial is a square of a binomial. Kaya lang, guys, titignan nyo muna mabuti yung given trinomial kung ito ba ay perfect square trinomial. So, let's try to practice. Determine if each of the following trinomials is a perfect square trinomial or not. No? So, determine muna natin kung yung given trinomials na to ay perfect square or not. Okay, let's have the first number. We have here y squared plus 8y plus 16. What is our first question para malaman natin kung ito ay perfect square trinomial? Okay, the first question is, what is the square root of the first term? Okay, what is the square root of the first term here? Y squared. So, the square root is y. Now, what about the last term? What is the square root of 16? Okay, the square root of 16 is 4. Now, yun ay pangalawa natin. What is the square root of the last term? Yung pangatlong tanong, what is the product of the square root? No? So, pag pinag-multiply mo yung square root niya, y times 4, that is 4y. No? If you double the product or if you multiply the product by 2, so what is 4y times 2? So, that is equal to 8y. Now, if it is equal to the middle term, if it is equal to the middle term, then it is a perfect square trinomial. So, is this a perfect square trinomial or not? Yes, that is a perfect square trinomial. The square root of the first term is y. The square root of the last term is 4. So, when you multiply the square roots, you have 4y times 2. That is equal to 8y. So, that is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, how about number 2? Let us see if it is a perfect square trinomial. What is the square root of 4x squared? Okay, so that is 2x. What about 9y squared? Okay, so that is 3y. Let us multiply the square root. No? 2x times 3y is... Okay, that is 6xy. But you have to double it. You have to multiply it by 2. So times 2... That is 12xy, which is not the same with your middle, middle term. So, that is not a perfect square trinomial. Okay, how about number 3? Let us see if it is a perfect square trinomial. f squared. What is the square root of f squared? Okay, it's f. Okay, what about g squared? What is the square root? Okay, that is g. Okay, let's multiply the two square roots. f times g is fg. When you multiply it by 2, or when you double the product, you will get 2fg. Is it the same with your middle term? Okay, it's not. So, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Okay, let's have number 4. Number 4, 16e to the 4th minus 24e squared plus 9. Okay, what is the square root of the first term? 16e to the 4th. The square root of 16 is 4. e to the 4th is e squared. Okay, how about 9? What's the square root of 9? So, that is 3. Okay. Now, let us multiply the square roots. 4e squared times 3 is 
12e squared. Okay, correct. Now, let us double the product or let us multiply the product by 2. So, 2 times 12e squared is 24e squared. Is it the same with your middle term? Yes, it is. So, this is a perfect square trinomial. Bakit tayo nag-drill sa identifying whether a given polynomial is a perfect square trinomial? Kasi nga, kailangan mo munang ma-identify na siya ay perfect square trinomial para masabi mo na ang factors ay square of a binomial. Okay, so let's try to factor each of the given trinomials. So let's start with number 1. No? So we have x squared plus 14x plus 49. Katulad nga nung sinabi ko dun sa unang-unang topic natin, common monomial factoring. Tignan nyo muna kung may common monomial factor. May x, may x, walang x. So x is not a common factor. 1, the numerical coefficient is 1. This is 14, this is 49. So, itong dalawa meron, so 7, pero ito, this is 1. So, there is no common monomial factor. So, clear na tayo dun sa common monomial factor. Now, since ang given natin ay trinomial, tignan natin kung ba siya, kung PST, kung perfect square trinomial. So let's look at the first term, x squared. What's the square of the what's the square root of the first term? So x, what about the last term? So it must be 7. Okay, when you multiply the square roots, no? x times 7 is 7x times 2 is it equal to the middle term? What is x times 7? 7x times 2 14x. Okay, so that is a PST. So that's a perfect square trinomial. So kung siya ay perfect square trinomial, so lagay na natin yung square sa taas, and then we write the square roots. So we have x, 7, and you have the plus sign here. So these are the factors x plus 7 quantity squared or that is x plus 7 times x plus 7. Okay? Okay, so let's try another one. Let's try number 2. So we have here 49x squared minus 56xy plus 16y squared. Okay, so let's see if there's a common monomial factor. Check for common monomial factor. 49, 56, 16. They're both even, but this one is odd. So, this is divisible by 4. By 4, also divisible by 4, but this is not. So, there's no common monomial factor. X, X, walang X. Y, Y, walang Y. So, there's no common monomial factor. Okay, now, let's look at this trinomial. Is it PST? Perfect square trinomial kaya? Okay, let's look at the first term. 49X squared. What is the square root? It is 7X. What about the last term? 16y squared. What's the square root? 4y. Okay. <coughs> now, if we multiply the square roots, no? 7x times 4y, we will get 28xy. And then, double it. Multiply it by 2. Is it equal to 56xy? Tignan natin. So, 2 times 28 is 56. Okay, so that's 56xy. So, this one is a perfect square trinomial. So, since it is a perfect square trinomial, ilagay na natin ang factors. Square. Okay. 
So we have 7x, 4y. Then the sign here is minus. Okay, so these are the factors of the given trinomial. Okay, so let's try another one. Factor 9 minus 4x squared plus 4xy minus y squared. Katulad ng sabi ko noon, kapag merong 4 or more terms sa isang polynomial, kailangan na nating mag-group, no? Factoring by grouping. Okay. Now, kung pagsasamahin natin yung unang dalawa, and then the last two here, tingnan natin kung meron ba siyang fa common factors. Okay? Kasi makikita nyo, di ba? Dati nag-group tayo, dalawa, dalawa. Okay? So, let us group the first two. 9 minus 4x squared plus 4xy minus y squared. Okay, tingnan natin kung may common factor ay kung uh, itong 9 minus 4x squared, may common factor ba? Wala. So, itong 9 minus 4x squared, nakita nyo, difference. Is it difference of two squares? What's the square root of the first term? Okay, the square root of 9 is 3. How about the second term? Okay, so that's 2x. So, this is difference of two squares. Okay, so therefore, ang factors niya ay 3 minus 2x, 3 plus 2x. Okay, yan yung last topic natin, no? Difference of two squares. Okay, plus, you have here 4xy minus y squared. Is there a common factor? Yes, meron. My y, my y. Okay, therefore, y is a common factor. So, 4xy divided by y is 4x minus y squared divided by y is y. Okay, so, ayan na po yung factors na, na ilagay natin. Pero, hindi pa yan ang complete factors kasi... Meron bang common factor yung dalawang terms? Okay, there's no common factor. So, hindi nag-work yung pag-group natin ng first two at saka yung last two. Okay, now, tingnan natin kung iba naman yung pagsasamahin natin. Yung ibang terms naman. Paano kung ang gawin natin ay tatlo? against 1, 3, 1, or 1, 3. Now, kung titignan nyo, yung last 3 terms, 4x squared plus 4xy minus y squared. Subukan natin pagsamahin yung last 3, uh, three terms. So, we have 9 minus, pagsamahin natin sa group yung last 3, ano? So, we have here 4x squared Okay, you have here a minus sign, so the sign of 4xy here will become negative, no? Opposite the sign, minus 4xy, then this is plus y squared. So, ito, one term against three, itong group of three terms, no? Okay, now, this is a trinomial, tignan natin siya kung perfect square trinomial ba? What is the square root of 4x squared? Okay, that's 2x. What about y squared? Okay, that's y. Let's multiply the square roots. 2x times y, that is 2xy. Pag itinimes 2 mo ba, ay kamukha ba nito middle term? What is 2 times 2xy? So, that is 4xy. Okay. So, ayan. Nag-satisfy dun sa ating tanong kung siya ay PST. Yes. This one is a perfect square trinomial. Okay. So, i-factor na natin yung ito. So, ang factors niya, since siya ay perfect square trinomial, ang factors niya ay 2x 
minus y quantity squared. Okay, now we have to bring down the 9 here. Okay? So, ayan, umikli na. 9 minus 2x minus y quantity squared. Makikita nyo ba na minus? So, difference, no? All 2 squares. Ayan, i-apply na naman natin yung lesson natin nung nakaraan. So, this is difference of 2 squares. So, kapag difference of 2 squares, di ba meron siyang dalawang factors? Sum and difference of the same two numbers. Okay, what's the square root of 9? Okay, 3. Ano yung square root na to? Obvious, ang square root niya ay 2x minus y. So, therefore, ang factors nitong difference of 2 squares na yan ay 3 plus 2x minus y. 3 minus 2x minus y. Now, let us remove the parentheses. Okay? Let us remove the parentheses. So, we have 3 plus 2x minus y times 3 minus 2x plus y. Okay, so these are the factors of the given polynomial. Okay, so let's try one more. Factor 4 times the quantity x squared minus b squared plus 9 times the quantity y squared minus a squared minus 12 times xy plus ab. Nako, medyo mahaba, no? Pray ka lang na wag yan ang matapat sa'yo na itanong ni ma'am o kaya ni sir. Pero kayang-kaya natin yan. Subukan natin sagutin, no? Okay, let us first simplify the given. So, let's multiply the terms here. Yung 4, let's multiply, let's distribute. So, we have 4x squared minus 4b squared. Okay, distributing 9, we have 9y squared minus 9a squared. Distributing the 12, we have minus 12xy minus 12ab. Ayan, meron siyang 6 terms, no? So, Obvious na obvious, kailangan mong mag-group. Kaya lang yung i-group mo, yung mga may uh, pare-parehas na terms. Okay, let's say for example, pinag-group natin itong mga x at saka si y. Kasi you have here 4x squared, tapos ito ay 9y squared, then you have here 12xy. Let us put them in a group, no? So, minus 12xy plus 9y squared. Nakabuo ka ng isang grupo ng trinomial. Okay, now, let's have the other trinomial. So, tatlo na lang din. So, we have, ma, uh, let's group them. Okay, minus 4b squared. Okay. Ano yung kasama niya? We have this one, negative 12ab, no? So, plus 12ab, and then, eto may a din. So, plus 9a squared. Ayan, we have two groups of trinomial. Tingnan natin kung yung dalawang grupo ba ng ating trinomial na yan, ay parehas na perfect square trinomial. Okay, let's look at the first trinomial. So, unang tanong, is this a perfect square? Yes, if it is, what is the square root? So, 2x. What about this one? Is it a perfect square? What is the square root? So, that is 3y. Now, pag pinag-multiply mo by square root niya times 2, is it the same with the middle term? So, 2x times 3y is 6xy. No? Times 2, 
That is 12XY. Yes, yun. Kamukha siya ng middle term. So, therefore, itong unang trinomial natin ay perfect square trinomial. So, ang factors niya ay 2x, ano yung sign ng gitna, minus yung square root 3y. So, ayan, na-factor na natin yung unang trinomial. Okay, how about the next trinomial? So, meron tayo ditong minus, eh, no? You have the minus sign. Is it a perfect square trinomial? What is the square root of the first term? 2B. Okay, what about the last term? Okay, it's 3A. 2B times 3A is 6AB times 2. Okay, that's 12AB. This is also a perfect square trinomial. So, the factors are... 2B, okay, plus the sign, plus 3A. Tapos na kaya ang factoring? Hindi pa kasi merong minus. Mayayari lang yung factoring mo kung panay siya, parenthesis na, panay multiplication, pero there is a minus sign here, so this is not yet factored. No? This is not yet com completely factored. Okay, let us examine. Nakita nyo na ito ay difference, no? Dalawang squares. So, kung babalikan natin yung difference of two squares, meron siyang factor na sum and difference of the same two numbers, di ba? Okay, ano na nga square root na to? So, 2x minus 3y quantity squared. Ang square root ay 2x minus 3y. How about this one? 2B plus 3A quantity squared. So, ang square root ay 2B plus 3A. So, since that is a difference of 2 squares, so, ang factors niya ay sum and difference of the same 2 numbers. Okay, so, sum and difference of the same 2 numbers. Medyo lakihan ko lang yung aking parenthesis or gawin kong bracket. So, it should be sum and difference of the same two numbers. Na ito yun. So, we have 2x minus 3y, yung square root niya, sum. Uh, square root na to, 2b plus 3a. Okay, now difference, we have 2x minus 3y, tapos 2b plus 3a. Now, tingnan natin, isimplify natin. Let's remove the other grouping symbols. So, we have our answer here. 2x minus 3y plus 2b plus 3a times 2x minus 3y minus 2b minus 3a. So, these are the factors of the given polynomial. Okay, guys. So, ito yung five numbers na sasagutan natin. Factor each of the following completely. Para madaman ko naman if you are learning dun sa ating mga lessons. Okay, you can just comment your answer o kaya isend nyo sa akin through Facebook. No? You can just send a private message. So, before I end this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and the notification bell beside it para ma-notify ka every time I post interesting videos. And feel free to comment for video suggestions. Bye, guys!